about three years ago, we wanted to uh, start a track meet that included as many students as we could. And so we, we brainstormed a little bit. We thought about mirroring a Special Olympic, Olympics event, um, but not as limited to, as to the students that can participate. Mm -hmm. So we came up with the idea that most students with disabilities don't get to represent their school. So we started this track meet where they, they didn't just come to particip participate for themselves, but as members of a team, as members of their, their school district's team. And that, that we've, it's taken off from there. We've invited more schools over the years. I think we started with 13, we're up to 17 schools. Um, we plan on adding more schools next year. So it just, it's just something that just blossomed into what it is. Tomorrow we'll meet about closing out this year and we start for next year. Um, so it's a year long process. We meet, this time of year we meet about every two months, but as we lead up to the events, we meet every other week. We talk about it at school. And our, our focus is trying to shift away from the staff doing the work and to put it onto the students. So this year, more so than ever, the students had more involvement in, in part their planning, uh, participating in, in volunteering. Uh, we got the student athletes involved. So we're hoping to keep that trend moving to where it's more of a student run event.
John, Thomas, Liam, Aaron, Rena, Johnny, Michael, John, Lucas, Donna, Kylie, Sean, Angel, Michael, Michael, Leah, Johnny, Ryan, and Ethan. Welcome to our athletes from Pine Grove. covered by the generosity of our businesses and, and community and, and the school districts themselves are providing a lot of
Obviously, this event stays. We make it bigger, better. Uh, at some point, we're limited to how many schools can come because of travel time. But where it goes from here is on the county level, the districts have been talking about what more we can do. Schuylkill Haven does a dance. So they've, they've kind of taken the ball with that route. We're talking about buying and use, uh, using Spartan Games to springboard into buying more inclusive curriculum. Uh, training students to be advocates for students with disabilities. Training students with disabilities to be advocates for themselves. So we're looking to make year-long activities with this as the culminating event. Very good. All right. Okay. Is that good? <laughs> Thank you. That was, a, that was an easy one. Yeah. As you were... Joanna Miller. What is that? What is this? Probably not. Please bring them to the press box.
up from the water. We are all gathered here from different...